Welcome to another edition of Around Town, where we focus in on the people and the places of your community. I'm Larry Seaman, your host. And of course, as always, we have special guests. We don't have just guests, we have special guests. And right now we have singer entertainer Bobby G is with us today. Hi, How are you doing? Good to see you. Thanks, great to be here. Thank All you right. for having me. Talk a little bit about yourself, uh, you know, and uh, a little bit of background or bio or what do we want to call it? Started back in 1974 at the age of 12. Okay. My dad was uh, a well-known local band leader. Yeah, yeah. And I started working with him as in the tuxedo and working with him as a singer and a drummer. Oh. And uh, that's how I kind of broke into the business. So talk a little bit about your dad. Oh, my goodness. Dad worked professionally for over 50 years, trumpet player, talented band uh, pianist. He was a band leader and uh, a vocalist and uh, worked all over the New England area. Yeah. So I got a, a great training ground working well, with him so, and all the so guys. So you actually would follow him all, around a, a lot. Yeah, I started on the gigs, and I think I made fifteen dollars a gig back then, wow. believe it or not. And uh, I was with him for a couple of years, and then when I was about fifteen, yep. I went with a local entertainment agent with different bands working at weddings and around outside the Boston area. Yeah. And so it's quite of a so quite a road. Where did you live at that time when you were a kid? Lowell. Lowell, Lowell, Massachusetts. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. What was it like uh, uh, being brought up um, in, in the entertainment world? It was something because, uh, the, of course, we were always talking music at home. You know, Dad was either at the piano or he was writing music. He didn't, he didn't write songs. He was an, an arranger and what they call oh, a copyist. Oh, yeah. well, I get you. Yeah, so yeah. He, would, uh, he would take songs and if it had to ch transpose a song into a different key, he would take care of all that. So I grew up seeing all that my whole life, you know? Right. And uh, and you've been doing this for, what you say, 27 years or something well, like I'm, that? Uh, let me see, I'm 50, when I was 30 years old, I went full-time, yeah. 57. Yeah. So the past 27 years, full-time. So yeah. I guess almost 45 years all total. I can't believe it when I, I hear the, the number 45 years of, that I'm still at it after, after all this time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And what, uh, what did you learn along the way? Anything uh, about the music scene or entertainment of I've what to that, expect? Well, I going into the business. It's a it's it's a very competitive business, yeah. and I think I've learned if you have dreams to go on to bigger things, sometimes it takes more than talent and hard work. Yeah, I think it, it you need those contacts, and without that, I think it kind of you hit that. The, the the ceiling you know right right and you can't move forward you know but that's the way it is but i i learned that along the way it's it, that's just the way it is but uh i'm very lucky that i'm still at it after all these years right. but the business has changed the styles of music has changed yeah so i'm trying to keep that old style for sure music alive for sure yeah now with your dad and you being in the entertainment business uh i know you must have had a lot of contacts along the way that, that you were talking about that has worked for you and also maybe some celebrities? Or? Well, I've, I've met a few celebrities along the way. When I wasn't performing myself, I really enjoyed going to different concerts or shows. I remember uh, Wayne Newton when he appeared oh, yeah. right here in Lawrence. I was at that oh, great. show and we, oh, my wife there, and I huh? had a chance to, uh, to meet him after. And then, so that was quite a, quite a kick for us, you yeah, know, enjoyed yeah. that. And that was, I believe, in 2006. In okay. 2007, we drove across country uh, to Las Vegas. I had a chance to perform. I have a friend out there who, who was a musician there, so I performed with his group. And we were able to take that photo and go out to Harris on the Strip and get it backstage to Wayne Newton and have it autographed. And I put a note in there, hmm. Lawrence, Massachusetts. Excellent. So we, we have that on the... Oh, framed on the wall at home. Yeah. That's a great story. Yeah. You know, as a kid, I used to go to the Chateau de Ville in oh, Framingham, yeah, yeah. and I, would, I saw people like Sammy Davis Jr. Beautiful. Uh, wow, what a, great. What a kick to see him. And you, you do know, some and, songs of his as well as I do a little uh, bit Frankie of his Sinatra. And, and, yep, I do Sinatra and Tony Bennett, Tom Jones. Uh, I, I enjoy doing the falsetto, which is uh, Frankie Valley, the Four Seasons. Right, right. Of course, the Jersey Boys are doing that now. And I do a lot of that. And so I, when I do my one hour show now at the different places I perform, I always try to throw in a Frankie Valley right. or something oh, like that. Great. So we give them a mix. So it's not only Tony Bennett or Sinatra. Right. It's a mix of, uh, of a little of everything. Well, you, you've had time to think about this. Uh, what is it about that music that uh, is so special to you? 
I think I feel it right in my soul. Yeah. I think I was uh, growing up in the business with my dad. I heard all that, and I just, uh, it's funny, in high school, I, friends of mine were listening to rock and roll and Kiss. And right, right, right. I was listening to, uh, you know, Andy Williams and, you know, Tony right, Bennett, right, and right. Wayne Newton, of course, right. and Tom Jones and all those things. Ella Fitzgerald, Excellent. maybe. Excellent, yeah, right. So uh, it was a so whole different thing. mostly jazz-based uh, music? I enjoy the big band. Uh, that's my personal favorite. I enjoy that and uh, the swing-type music and jazz, and, right. and that's what I listen to uh, when I'm, you know, not, not working. A lot of my performances today, uh, like, as I mentioned, are an hour in length, but I do a lot of things for seniors, and yeah. I really enjoy that. And it's, I do assisted living facilities, but not only that, but I'll do some uh, uh, like senior residences, okay. yeah, like well, 62 that's, that's plus good. or 55 oh, yeah, yeah, plus. Yeah. I do a lot of those. And these people really enjoy that, enjoy that style of music. So it's a kick for me because, of course, as an entertainer, right. I feed off the audience. For sure. You feed off right, the applause. Right, you know? right exactly. So I'm kind of right in my, in my zone with that. You know? So I really enjoy it. Uh, people that have done, you know, the closed circuits around this area, and uh, you probably get to know some of these people as well. You do. When I was an Indian head, you would see, I would try to uh, go in like a night early. So if I had a Wednesday night show, yeah. I would try to get there Tuesday to That's check a great in so idea. I'm yeah. And I would go to the show on Tuesday night That's to see them. So there were different performers that you would get to, to meet along the way, talented people, and you get to know each other. And, of course, those performers are not not only from the Merrimack Valley, you're meeting performers from all over New England. Right. And, you know, sometimes they might be from Jersey, New Jersey, or, you know, Vermont, or whatever. So that was a kick, getting to know everybody and meeting all these other talented right, right. entertainers. All right. So uh, what's coming up in the future? And uh, then we'll see if there's anything else that you wanted to talk about. We're just uh, moving forward with uh, the one-hour shows. That, that's really taken off for me in the past couple of years. And uh, we're all over the place outside the Boston area yeah. and southern New Hampshire. And uh, so we're going to continue, I think, in that direction because I'm, I'm enjoying it so much and getting such a kick out of it that I think we'll just keep going, going that way for now and see what happens. I would love someday to perform in a casino. Right, right. You know, and uh, that hasn't happened for me as of yet. But who knows, you know, right, maybe down right. the road do something. And that's always been my dream since I was a 12-year-old kid. Right, you know? right, right. Sure. Contact information for people who want to contact you. Well, we're in, uh, we're in Lowell. I have a Facebook page, okay. which is uh, Bobby G right. dash Bob Gavro Entertainment, which is a like page. I'll spell the last name because okay. <laughs> right, right, right. it's G-A-U-V as in Victor, R-E-A-U. So it's Bob Gavro. Okay. So it's Bobby G dash Bob Gavro Entertainment. And that's my Facebook page. That sounds great. And we've got our, uh, let me see, an email address is rjgproductions uh -huh. at comcast.net. I've loved, I've loved, I've cried, I've had my fill, my share of losing. Some I find it all so amusing. Paul Anker wrote the song saying something like this. Just to think I did all that. And may I say, not in a shy way.
beautiful. Sounds good. Bobby G, I'm glad I got to talk to you. Thank you so much, Larry. It's a pleasure to find you. Thank you. So that was, again, Bobby G, singer, entertainer. I'm Larry Seaman for Around Town, and I'll see you around town. Mm -hmm.